Hopefully okay. this looks better. Okay, this does look better too. Oh. oh. Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face, my name is Latera, and this is my cousin Jada. Jada. I'm gonna start my channel soon, so um shameless plug, you can put Go it. ahead, I'll put her stuff down below if you are interested in subscribing. But basically, we are both class 2023, and today I will be showing y'all where I'm going to college. <laughs> this kind of setup a lot but usually the little things are inside of the cupcakes and you know they're printed off but basically we're at a color ink number one and number two we don't we don't have enough cupcakes so so this is gonna have to do for now but there is a special surprise in one of them you don't know what it is but okay. it, but it's good it's good <laughs> oh you want to tell them where you're going to college yeah so yesterday i actually had my um academic signing day on zoom since we can't do it you know, of course, because of the coronavirus. And yes. I am going to Tennessee State University on a full scholarship. Yeah. And so I raised um, $1,667,100 in scholarships. Because uh, at my school, we kind of have this thing to where we apply to a lot of schools and we have a lot of options. And yeah, it's just something. But. So your girl was big balling. I'm gonna kind of walk y'all through my thought process as I was making the decision. And after I'm done, we have a little party set up. So I'm gonna show you our little party. But I think the first schools that I really took off of my list were all of the Tennessee schools except for UTK. Cause they were all like a little bit safety schools for me. So actually before even that was the Memphis schools. So we have CBU. At University of Memphis, I knew I did not want to stay at home, but I wanted some good safety options. So <laughs> then after that, then I took off the rest of the Tennessee schools except for UTK. UTK was still like right there on the top of my list because they were giving me a full ride. And it is a uh, say hello to my sister. And I did <laughs> like the campus and the atmosphere and things like that. But I took off UT Martin and UT Chat. And then after I took off the Tennessee schools, it really came down to money and just like accessibility. So I would say the next schools I kind of took off were Air University of Arizona and ASU. These were really the only schools that I applied to that were not in the South, but they are super far. So it would be super hard to get home. And then they didn't give me that much money. Then the next school I took, took off was FSU Florida State and I took this one off for kind of the same reasons it's really not that far but they really didn't give me any money so it, it went bye-bye and then the next school I took off was Zula which is Xavier University in Louisiana which is a HBCU and I kind of took this one off because while they did give me a lot of money in scholarships, it's never really been my dream to go to an HBCU. But I wanted to apply just to have that like different type of option just in case I thought I was going to go a different way. While the network and the opportunities they had seemed really good, I don't think they really could compare to what PWIs were offering me. But if you want to go to an HBCU, which she is, they are great options for the community and the networks that you build. But I didn't think it would be right for me, but I still have my little Howard in there, you know, because <laughs> it's in D.C. and I love, I, I love D.C. Like, it's such a, have you been to D.C.? Washington, D.C. Yeah. yeah. It's such, it's yeah. so good. It's yeah. so good. So I, I still had Howard hanging on for a limb. So then the next school I took off was Mississippi State. We went and visited there in February, I want to say. That's where um, Ariana is going. Really? Yeah. But I, I didn't really... I don't know, maybe I was just tired that day, but I just didn't really vibe with it. Like during the whole tour and like little seminar, I was just kind of sitting there. So that one came off the list. The next one I took off the list was probably Ms. You because you know, I don't know. Same type of deal as Mississippi State. I visited there over the summer and while it's a beautiful campus and it's a nice location, I just, it wasn't really my vibe. So I thought I could do something different so then these were my final five that i were debating through for a long time 
And at this point in time, this was before I had heard back from my scholarship. So I thought that I wasn't really getting any money. So I took off UF and Baylor. But I'm just going to put those right there because there's a story coming, guys. So then it was between Howard, LSU, and UTK because those were the only ones that I had money to go to without an outside scholarship. And after some great deliberation, I took Howard off the list because, like I said, it's never been my dream to go to an HBCU. And I just thought a PWI would just be a better fit for what I was looking for. And then it was down to LSU and UTK. And mind you, UTK was completely free to me. Mm, 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 mm. Is it okay? Oops. That won't Why help. Do that? <laughs> <laughs> so then it was down to LSU and UTK. UTK at this point was completely free to me. And LSU, they were giving me a lot of money. But not completely free, but manageable. So I came to the decision that... LSU would be better for me than UTK because a lot of people from my school go to UTK and I just kind of wanted a fresh start even though I would be paying a little bit out of pocket I thought it would be a better fit for me to have a fresh start so LSU is what I decided and then I was a week out from hearing back from Gates which was the outside scholarship I applied for but I was like either way I'm gonna go to LSU and then I got Gates and I was like hold up gotta bring the options back so after I got Gates, it was back between Baylor, LSU, and UF. And the next one that I took off was Baylor. I was talking to one of my teacher's husbands. This is it's not weird, it's, but um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not weird. But he was telling me he was like, um, listening to your options and just like what you have to say. It's very clear that two of them are very what you're looking for and one of them's kind of an outlier and the outlier that he was talking about was Baylor and I saw that so I just I took it off the list. So it was down to UF and LSU. And then my best friend Hannah, y'all have seen her before. I'll I'll put a little video she did with me in the card. She told me that she was going to LSU. So I was like, "Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness." So I was like, LSU is like looking real good right now. And then, but UF, if y'all have been with me for a while, or not even for a while, if you've been with me since my college decision reaction, you know that UF was one of like my top I forgot to make a card for you, Miami. It's okay. I, I didn't choose it, obviously, but you, Miami, should have been in the mix up here somewhere. So UF is really... It's been one of my top schools, my dream school for a really long time. But LSU, it had my best friends. I really like the communications program there. So it was really a lot of debate. So after a lot of turmoil, I decided to go with... Just pick one. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> University of Florida. So I will be a Gator 2024. And to the surprise I was talking about, hopefully y'all can see it. So me and my sister, we made these cupcakes. And should I bite it? Should I? I don't know. What. You're so far with a floor. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, zoom in. <laughs> Inside is the blue and orange. Come on, one with them. But yes, so. <laughs> so, UF24, go Gators! And this is the little party we got set up. We got. Quarantine party! Hey, what kind of mission is? <laughs> we got some swamp water for y'all, a gator cake. Some pizza, some more of those cupcakes, and some buffalo chicken dip, and some Twix. Can't forget the Twix and the Swedish fish. And the lays, and the lays, and a ruby. Are you recording? No. <laughs> this could be the. <laughs> this could be the intro. The boobies. <laughs>